So it will take uh, one question on specific heat. So we will take in fact two numericals on specific heat. So question number seven state that <coughs> how much it is, it is required to raise the temperature of So you have to solve the question. This is a very simple question that how much heat is required. Now how much heat is required to raise the temperature of 500 gram kerosene. That means uh, you are going to increase the temperature of the substance. To increase the temperature per 1 degree you need the specific value which is given as this 0.51 kilocalorie per kilogram so per kilogram 0.51 kilocalorie is required this also means that this is 0.51 calorie is required per gram degree centigrade this also means the same thing okay so this is so for one gram of kerosene to raise its temperature by one degree you require 0 0.51 calorie of heat then 500 gram is there so multiply by 500 the mass is multiplied with specific heat and then 40 degree uh, 10 to 40 the difference is 30 degree to increase by one you require this to increase by 30 how much multiply by 30 so the solution is heat required is mass of the substance specific heat into rise in temperature therefore 500 in gram is 500 gram into specific heat is uh, 0 0.51 calorie per gram degree centigrade i have in deliberately converted this uh, value to per gram because this is gram otherwise you can convert this into kilogram and put directly the value the answer will be in kilocalorie okay so this into <coughs> change in temperature is uh, 40 minus 10 that is 30 degree centigrade so we will uh, cancel out uh, those in the numbers and also the units this gram this gram cancels this degree centigrade this degree centigrade will cancel only calories left so it is uh, 30 500 this is nearly half this is nearly 250 250 and uh, 30 nearly 215 to 30 it's nearly 7500 calorie or 7.5 kilo calorie is the answer you can multiply 0 0.51 i have just taken this 0 0.51 as a 0 0.5 this is nearly 7500 calorie or 7.5 kilo calorie if you take the exact value of this 0.51 the answer is given 7.65 the answer is 7.65 kilo calorie now we are getting 7.5 because we have taken that is 0 0.51 this is uh, this point uh, one also 0 0.01 is also important because uh, this number is very large multiplied it gives you a significant number so anyway this is the answer to this question now we'll move to the second question <coughs> that is uh, next question is uh, again on uh, specific heat the question is uh, <coughs> uh, find the temperature difference uh, between the water at the top and bottom of waterfall find the
so the question is uh, the temperature difference uh, between the water at the top and bottom of the waterfall so what is falling uh, from a height to the, the ground so the temperature here and the temperature there must be different so what is that temperature difference <coughs> the height comes out to be 200 meter so the water is falling like this from here to this this height is uh, 200 meter the height is 200 meter then uh, I don't know the temperature here I will say the temperature is theta 1 and the temperature here the water, when the water hits here the temperature while it is here is theta 1 and the here is theta 2 now specific heat of water is also given 4 to double zero joule per kilo kg per Kelvin uh, per degree centigrade Kelvin how will the water gain temperature here so the difference in temperature is theta 2 minus theta 1 that is the question to find this uh, this is for sure that this temperature will increase when it falls from a higher height to lower height then uh, if the temperature is increasing then there must be some uh, heat that is supplied to the water from where uh, the water gains heat and uh, thereby this temperature increases it is obviously some form of energy is converted to heat and that heat raises the temperature and what is that energy which gives it or is converted to heat if I release this object from here to the ground it falls and its temperature will also increase it is because of the loss in the potential energy that is uh, the only energy and uh, the kinetic energy which is suddenly stopped the potential energy converted to kinetic energy and when it is suddenly stopped here that kinetic energy is converted to heat so when a moving object is suddenly stopped the kinetic motion is converted to heat okay so instead of finding the kinetic energy of the water it is better to find the potential energy of the water when it is uh, the change in the potential energy what is the potential energy when it is at the top that potential energy is converted to heat so i'll write the when it is here at the height h the potential energy is mgh that potential energy is converted to heat energy which is m s delta theta this potential energy when the water is at the higher point this is when it reaches here it becomes heat these two values are same energy is converted in fact we assume that no other uh, energy the energy here at the highest point is not converted to any other form if it converts to obviously it is not uh, the ideal case some of uh, the energy potential energy is converted to heat also to some part is converted to light also some part uh, may be converted to sound also so may be possible but ignoring those two, uh, or other uh, factors we only think that the potential energy is converted to heat if this value is equal to this value then these two sides also will remain equal so from these two equations the right hand side will be equal so i'll write uh, from 1 and 2 ms delta theta is so from here g is by s plug in the values g is uh, 9.8 meter per second square then h is uh, 200 meter and s i put here 4200 joule per second. <coughs> so now, the, if you check the units, joule is uh, kilogram meter square per second square. Okay, 
kilogram meter 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 square per second square so joule is kilogram meter square per second square so therefore kilogram meter 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 square per second square will cancel with this joule only degree centigrade is left so whatever is the answer that will be in degree centigrade then uh, this is uh, 2000 nearly if it is 10 this is 2000 by nearly 4000 then so it will be 0 0.5 but the actual answer in centigrade is 0 0.467 degree centigrade by solving you will get the answer okay thank you